Hello, brothers and sisters. This one is just sad. It's uh, touching on AI again, but it's also touching on this whole sick ideology they're pushing on the whole world with their alphabet soup and how people are being broken and searching in the midst of darkness for hope and they're just turning to the wrong places to try and find it. Generating a false god. Chat GPT goes viral with fake Bible passage. I mean, we all knew this was coming. It portrays Jesus accepting transgenderism. According to a Reddit post that went viral, the trans-identifying individual posted, I was feeling sad today, and so the person turned to AI for encouragement by asking ChatGPT to write a fake Bible passage about Jesus accepting trans people. The text ChatGPT wrote is the following. And a woman whose heart was divided between spirit and body came before him. In quiet despair she asked, Lord, I come to you estranged, for my spirit and body are not one. How shall I hope to enter the kingdom of God? Jesus looked upon her with kindness, replying, My child, blessed are those who strive for unity within themselves, for they shall know the deepest truths of my Father's creation. Be not afraid, for in the kingdom of God there is no man nor woman, as all are one in spirit. The gates of my Father's kingdom will open for those who love and are loved, for God looks not on the body but the heart. Amazing how beautifully they make it sound almost legit and just twist everything. Like the snake did in the garden right from the beginning, his first trick. Did God say that? Did he not mean this? And then nice and gently just change the word to their own. This is not from the Bible. It is sick. And this is one of the main reasons I'm saying it is demonically inspired AI. Seeking God is really easy. John 10 verse 9, King James Version. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. He shall go in and out and find pasture. The actual word of God. Romans 10 verse 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Actual Bible. John 3 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Actual Bible. We know who ultimately writes the chat GPT verses, the father of lies. John 8 verse 44, ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. When someone today says accept, they mean celebrate an identity that runs contrary to God's design. When God says you are accepted in the beloved, Ephesians 1 verse 6, it means that Christ has paid the penalty for your sins. So you now have right standing before the creator of the universe. Salvation means that God will not leave you in your sin and your false identity if you are his child he will sanctify you and call you to leave your life of sin john 8 11, deny yourself take up your cross and follow him luke 9 23 the world doesn't want you to deny yourself celebrate self i i i just like lucifer the father of lies part of that means leaving behind a sinful identity and embracing how he made you to be either as a man or a woman genesis 1 27 matthew 19 verse 4 to 5 fearfully and wonderfully made by him psalm 139 verse 14 in his image genesis 1 verse 27 there are only two genders people publicly and scientifically for anyone with a brain male and female fact False comfort, 
comes from creating a God in your image, who likes and accepts you, like and accepts and doesn't hate or reject what you are, but is exactly as you are. That God is a false God, providing temporary comfort and leading you straight into an eternity separated by the one true God. The only true comfort and rest comes through Jesus Christ, the true Jesus, not the fake one on chat GPT. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. There is one door. There is one way. You put your rubbish one side and you accept Jesus Christ, our creator, the only one who can make a difference in our lives, who can actually help us overcome self and the flesh. Paul says in the New Testament, I die daily because it is a daily battle against the flesh and against sin in this world until we are finally reunited with the Lord. It doesn't say we'll stop sinning overnight. It says we will hate sin. You need to be getting away from that. You need to be striving to be better every day. You need to want to be what God wants you to be. Watch out for AI. The father of liars is doing a really good job there. But Jesus is still on the throne. Shalom.